I'm meteorologist Blaze Keller and we are tracking showers and thunderstorms as we head into your Saturday night, but they wrap up throughout your Father's Day and then we replace that thunderstorm threat with heat and humidity and that really sticks with us as we go throughout the next uh, work week. Really take a look at our future track heat index values as we go into your Father's Day afternoon approaching the mid to upper 90s in the lacrosse area. If we jump forward into your Monday once again feeling hot and that heat really extends all the way north into the UP and then we continue to remain hot as we go into your Tuesday as well. Those heat index values still in those low to mid 90s. So as we make our way into next week, it's important to not only remain cool and hydrated during the day, make sure your pet time is limited outdoors as well as your time and checking in on the elderly, but also you need to make sure that you are staying cool and hydrated at night as well with those overnight lows only dipping into the 70s. You need to make sure that your body is able to to remain cool as we're trying to sleep and recharge and those 70 degree nights begin this evening. We're headed into those upper 60s to low 70s as we end your Saturday night. We are going to be looking at that chance for showers and thunderstorms as we continue to make our way overnight into your father's day. So let's fast forward future track into the midnight hour going into early Sunday morning. Again, a cluster of showers and thunderstorms expected to move out of Iowa and really continue to impact us through the morning hours. If you're going to be celebrating dad farther to the east, you're going to be dealing with that thunderstorm and rain threat further into the morning hours. But watch as we head into the late morning onwards, we're starting to clear out the skies. And the sooner we can do that, accompanied with these south southwesterly winds, the faster we are going to heat up. So there is that heat component expected to build as we go into your Sunday, and that's only going to continue as we look ahead into next week. In addition to the heat, mainly through the morning hours is this severe weather threat. In the dark green there, you've got the marginal risk in the yellow. That is that slight risk. The kind of two lowest threat categories outlined by the Storm Prediction Center. Hail is going to be our greatest threat along with some strong winds. Uh, while the tornado threat is very, very minimal, there's never really going to be a chance that we can eliminate an actual tornado threat. So make sure that you are staying weather aware as we go throughout your Father's Day. And over the next 10 days, we are anticipating a pretty active pattern, but a lot more of that rain is going to be north of the Cities. However, we could pick up anywhere between two to maybe five inches of rain closer to the Eau Claire area. As I mentioned, all next week, we are expecting really daily chances for those showers and thunderstorms. So here's a look at our seven and 10 day forecast. We are anticipating again that threat for showers and thunderstorms in those hot conditions, especially as we kick off next week. Uh, three 90 degree days at least Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. As we look ahead to the middle of the week, while we'll cool off just a little bit, we are still going to remain in those mid 80s and humidity builds as we look ahead to next weekend. So again, make sure that you are staying weather aware, cool and hydrated for your Father's Day.